podcast. On this episode, we'll be covering Dan Tobacco's Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. That's a mouthful. That is. Let's look at that blend. That Balkan Blend. And Balkan Boys. <laughs> I'm talking Balkan. Yeah, I'm He's... talking blends. Balkan Blends. <laughs> All right. What we have here is Dan Tobacco's Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. What it is comprised of is Dark Fire Kentucky, Latakia, Louisiana Perique, Orientals, Bright Virginia, and Red Virginia. Now, as far as proportions are concerned, it uh, it says it uses the best Virginia grades. I assume it's bright and red. Um, yeah, I could be wrong on that. Anytime, you know, a lot of times in these blends, they don't specifically say which Virginias they have. So I usually try to include both the bright and the red just to cover my bases. All right. It also says a lot of oriental leaf. Doesn't give a percentage. It just says a lot of oriental leaf. But then it has 10% dark fire Kentucky, which is right here. And then 40% of Latakia. So a good bit of Latakia there. Uh, just a good pinch of Louisiana Perique. Um, now when we look at the blend here, Bill Bailey's Balkan blend, uh, you know, there's a good mix of the dark leaf, which is, you know, some kind of combination of the dark fire Kentucky or the Latakia or the Perique. Um, and then we have some brighter specks, which are either the Virginias or the Orientals. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, you know, well-balanced blend. Looks very similar to me, uh, of most Balkan blends, uh, nightcap, uh, you know, if you consider it, you know, just heavier English. Uh, you know, we, we kind of, I think this, they, they, at least they're going this direction with naming it Balkan blend. It's not so much it, that it's Balkan in the sense of Oriental forward. It's more Balkan in the term that me and Zach use a lot, which is, uh, it's a kitchen sink blend. It's got everything in it. Um, and so as such, comparing it to Nightcap or Artisan's blend, it looks very similar. Very similar. And it's uh, makeup looks looks similar to Balkan Sobrani. Um, just as far as the way that the, you know, the cut looks and, and its proportions and the how all the colors are kind of balanced here. But, but yeah, this is Bill Bailey's Balkan blend yeah. All right. so yeah that was the tobacco um, this is actually a double first impression and we are actually smoking it for the first time right here right now mm. so this is uh, interesting uh, Zach you had, he had com he had reached out and said that you know we wanted to do a couple um, or you know go through the Dan tobacco lineup because it just it didn't, it didn't get a lot of love Dan tobacco it, it, I feel like no one smokes Dan Tobacco. It never gets brought up. Or, I'm sure it does. It just feels like it doesn't. I, I, I swear I'm there for a little bit. I was the only one smoking Dan Tobacco products in my little pipe community there. This was years ago. Mm. And, um, yeah, then you and I went down our rabbit hole of pipe cast, and I don't think we ever even touched. And funny enough, though, yeah. that's how I kicked you off. Yeah, we roll the clocks back to like November, December of uh, 2016, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, 2016. Because Zach had tried to get me into pipes one time before. We then ended up doing pipe casts. And the first thing he got, we, I went and got a corn cob, and he gave me Dan Blue Note. Mm -hmm. And so uh, look out, one day we're going we're gonna to revisit it. You know, now that we're going down this Dan... Mm -hmm. This Dan path, we're gonna we're gonna revisit Blue Note because I haven't had it since then. But um, but yeah, so this is. <laughs> it ain't box chocolate, that's for sure. Hot thing. Hang on, let's do a little replacement here. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, so this is Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. Um. If you enjoyed Bob's chocolate episode, well, you're going to love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we get that thing to sit up straight. Probably not. Um, so, yeah, so this, so, you know, in the name, it's Balkan. You know, it says it's Balkan. Um, the 10 note really reminds me of Artisan's Pipe uh, Nightcap. Um, all those, like, heavier Englishes. Um, um, man, what was that? What, uh, 
even from beyond had had that same kind of ten note, you know, yep. um, which from beyond was supposed to be what a, a reproduction of like an eighties, an aged eighties so. nightcap. Yeah, um, that sounds about right. And then Drew Curtis Sons First Amendment, you know, it, it, this is kind of in that war, in that realm. Um, maybe a little plum pudding going on here, but um, so ten note kind of smells, you know, familiar. The tobacco itself smokes real smoky. I'm probably always going to preface this now, but no creosote, so no 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 spark plug to yeah. me. Uh, it's more of that campfire smoke. But I don't know. It, it it doesn't for for having as many components as it does. It kind of is acting bank ish to me. Like it's just I'm not getting anything other than just like harsh. Latakia, that's all I'm getting right now. And it's it's not really, maybe I might need to smoke a couple more bowls of it, but mm. it's not really, it's not really uh, doing anything for me. It's just, you know, I like, like I always gauge things on like, you know, if I did have a rotation, would I carve out space for this blend? And right now I would not <laughs> because it's, it, it kind of sits in that realm of Artisan's Blend, Latakia Flake, Pipecap, or Pipecap, Nightcap. So it's like, it doesn't do anything more for me. So, why, you know, why am I going to add it in here? Um, I mean, it's it's fine. It, I mean, it tastes good. I, I just don't, it doesn't give me that Artisan's Blend. You right. Know, you know, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll know more as I get down through the bowl. I'll, you know, let you have at it. All right. Well, um, so... Bill Bailey's Balkan Blue. Well, this takes me back a little bit because uh, on initial light, never, it smells good out of the tin. The tin note is there. It's very smoky, so that, but there's not a lot to identify other elements just on a nose whiff. But as soon as you light it up, you know, this takes me back to Three Oaks by McClellan. Mm. It feels like there's some Syrian Latakia in this. Because the smokiness is actually lighter than I had anticipated. Uh, Cyprian Latakia is pretty harsh. And this has a nice sort of gentler undertone. Uh, I think some people would say actually the Syrian is a little bit stronger. But I disagree based on my experience with HH Syrian and Syrian Latakia. And some of the older blends like Artisans and stuff. Where it felt like when they had a Syrian Latakia in it, it sort of mellowed out the blend a little bit. It was almost like the smokiness had settled into itself, mm. as opposed to like Cyprian Latakia, which hadn't really settled. It was real, just robust. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not a knock at Cyprian. It just depends on what you want and the differences. So, yeah, it's neither here nor there. It just is what it is. But Balkan Blend, or Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend, or Four Bs, I guess, is. Um, it's just nice. It just tastes, it has a real good, you know, taste profile in my opinion. I think that um, with this blend, you can get that light smokiness and if you don't dig too much, like that's pretty much all you're really gonna be tasting for a little bit is just like a light smokiness that might give you sort of a humdrum approach. But there is a weird, sort of fruit sweetness like apricot or something that kind of comes in every once in a while it doesn't taste a hundred percent natural it kind of has like this weird twinge every once in a while of an artificial sweetness mm. but i don't know what it is it tastes good though but it has like an apricotty flavor yeah. to it now this is a kitchen sink blend so there's so much going on i don't really get a lot of pepperiness from perique so i would imagine that the perique is really 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 low portion and uh, there's not like a piquant kind of sour flavor from what I would imagine would be the Orientals, but it's there, but it doesn't come in waves. Really, the, the subtle smokiness is at the forefront. But like I said, this, this reminds me of like McClellan, like three, uh, three Oaks, which is pretty intense because that used to be one of my favorite blends. I smoked it all the time. Really? Oh, yeah. So this may be uh, something you come back to, Bill Bailey? I think so, unless this is like one of those one-off weird mm. blends that don't make any sense. I've had that happen to me before where I really liked it up front, and then after a return to it later or a second tin, 
it just didn't have whatever that first tent had. Yeah. So I've been a lot more cautious here lately when I just say, well, yeah, I'll probably put in a rotation. I end up buying one more tin, smoking through it and seeing if I like it. And then after that, that's the quality. The second full tin is a qualifying round for what would be considered a perma place in the yeah. rotation. The, um, um, yeah, I need to go back on something. Yeah, as I've sat here and I've gotten further down in the bowl, it, it, it is getting more interesting. Yeah. So I think my first initial opinion, while I still don't know if this would be something I'd go back to quite often, uh, I don't, um, I'm not so hard on it as I was at the beginning of the video. Uh, I still think you're right, though. It has a flattening effect out front. If you don't know, if you haven't had experience with something in the past, so I'm afraid I might be in a nostalgia smoke. Yeah. But I think you're right, though. It's, it's up front. Because the first half of this bowl has been, you know, it's just been like almost Balkan Sobrani, where it's, I, I get the light of Kia, but there's just not a lot underneath. It's flat, like you said. But then, like, not five seconds before you mentioned the apricot, I had retro held, and I'm like, oh, there is something sweet and sour-ish mm -hmm. happening here. That, But it's really only on the retro help. Yeah, me. it's very subtle, too. Yeah. And I'm but like, it's there, and I like it. Yeah, I like now, it, Now, that's not something that you would have found at Three Oaks. The smokiness is what I'm referencing there. But yeah. there's this other sweet fruit apricot like thing that happens every once in a while that's really interesting yeah yeah I think um, this is just one that I'll have to go back to a couple more times um, after this just to kind of get a better idea um, but yeah I mean yeah I mean I think you're I think I think we're all kind of on the money here it, it's this is one of the stranger yeah blends. Uh, not in a good way just in a, okay, I like it, but I can't give you a full endorsement because no. I feel like I haven't been married to it long enough, but it's good enough that I can reference older things that I really like. So maybe we're, we're trending in the right direction to not do, <laughs> like, live first impressions. Um, live first impressions are so difficult because there's a lot that you have to take into consideration. But maybe that's what people enjoy. People enjoy watching people figure figure it out. Because that's, like I said, it took half a bowl for me to kind of be like, okay, there is something different here. Um, and, and, you know, it, and if I hadn't have noticed the, like, sweetie fruit thing that was going on, sour fruit thing that was going on, um, if I hadn't have noticed it before you said it, I would almost think, well, I, I'm being influenced. But, I, but it, it happened, like, while you were talking, leading up to what you were saying about the apricot, mm -hmm. so I was like, I would halfway think you were influencing me, but I caught that right before that. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess we want, we're not going to say don't try it. We're not going to say try it. It's kind of like if you're interested and you want to try it, try it. But I just don't. We don't. I don't have an opinion. I still like. I'm still going to go to other. Latakia blends, a Balkan blends, right? I'm still going to go to Plum Pudding. I'm still going to go to to uh, Artisan's blend, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I mean, if you if you're out there and you want to do, oh, you know, Meridian, I, I'm still going to go to Meridian. You know, but if you had all those and you kind of want to venture out and see what Dan's doing, then I agree with Patrick. If you have established Balkan blend in your rotation, this probably isn't going to disrupt it. If you're curious about maybe what Three Oaks tasted like, this is probably your best bet. Okay. You can use some of this and try it. Okay. You can get an idea of what a uh, Latakia base blend from McClellan was like um, without the sweetness. So you're only focused. You'd only be focused on smoky. This does remind me of like a Syrian Latakia blend. Mm. Um, good, subtle. Um, complexity is there but probably not as like robust as say plum pudding or something like that like yeah. i said it's not going to be something i think you're going to go out of your way i think if you saw something on a counter at a brick and mortar this would be the time to get it yeah yeah i think so but i think dan tobacco is a confident blender 
I think this might be for somebody. I just don't know for who. Yeah. And and look look to us doing more Dan tobacco. I know specifically, um, we'll be what is it? What's the series called? American the American series. The American series. Um, like uh, Midnight Ride, Liberty, yeah. Independence, Independence, Patriot Flight, Old Iron Size. And th- and they'll we'll try to drop them around. Um, you know, specific patriotic holidays, American holidays. I know some of them are. Like they're referencing an actual date, so like Midnight Rides is going to be around April nineteenth ish, because that's when the Paul Revere yep. thing happened. So, um, and then and then uh, Liberty I think has to do with them crossing the Delaware on so the Potomac or the yeah the Potomac on um, on the twenty fifth of December. So that one will be around Christmas time. So we, we got them spread out. You know, of course we got Veterans Day and Memorial Day and all those kind of stuff. When would Independence drop? Oh, I don't know. When was it signed? The second. It'll be it'll be July second. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. Independence should happen on Independence Day. Um, so yeah. Um, so look forward. I mean, this isn't the only day in tobacco we're gonna be yeah, hitting. Well, I think we're gonna try to do the. Yeah, we're gonna try to do as many as we can. What's the other one that we got lined up? It, it'll probably be here soon. Well, in a couple months. Ham hamburger Veermeister. Uh, Veermeister hamburger Veermeister. Yeah. And so. then. Uh, I kind of want to try their salty dog too. Yeah, and they have a lot of uh, what are they like Treasures of Ireland or, yeah. or whatever. So, um, well, well, we might call the list to just like what we consider the high water marks. Yeah, and, and maybe it'll be a, a multi year thing. You know, this year we're focusing more on the American series. Maybe next year it'll be the salty dog. Right? Or, or is there more than one salty dog? I know there's no, no, more no, than it's just one salty dog. Though. There's more than one Treasures of Ireland. So I know we got Mallard. You Mallard, yeah. So. So yeah, there's you know there, there's a lot going on here. Of course, we're going to hit Blue Note at some point, but yeah, this is Bill Bailey's. If you feel adventurous, if you see it on a shelf somewhere in a brick and mortar, you know, go ahead and grab it. If you if you like Balkans, um, if you don't like Balkans, I would say probably don't get it. Probably yeah. Um, even though it does have that more Syrian feel to it, which is you know like you said a more tame Latakia. Maybe if you're not a Balkan fan, you might like this more, but I don't know. Probably not. I think that the, the, it's subtler than most Balkan, and it's definitely got a subtle smokiness. So yeah. check it out if you feel like most Latakias are overbearing. Yeah, there you go. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.